My job on the crew was to be the photographer, which meant to run the camera against a, uh, a very complicated, busy schedule of shooting uh, uh, lunar landmarks. Uh, Apollo 8, Houston, uh, what does the old moon look like from 60 miles, over? The vast loneliness up here on the moon is uh, awe-inspiring, and it makes you realize just what you have back there on Earth. The Earth from here is a grand oasis of the big fastest of space. So we had a chance to observe the moon. All right, we're going to roll. Ready? Set. Frank started to turn the spacecraft around. I looked over, and here came the Earth. Everybody claims to be the first one to have seen it. I know I was. And of course, since the moon is basically colorless, there was some thought maybe just should use black and white film, which was what I was using at the time with a short lens. When I saw the Earth coming up. Oh my God, look at that picture over there. There's the Earth coming up. Wow, is that pretty? Initially, Frank Borman said, oh, you can't take a picture of that. Hey, don't take that, it's not scheduled. <laughs> which is a joke, grabbed the, uh, the long lens, told Lovell to get me some color film. You got a color film, Jim? Hand me a roll of color quick, Oh, man, that's great. Where is it? Quick. It's out here. Urging him to, uh, to get with it. Just grab me a color. A color exterior. Yeah. Got one? Yeah, I'm looking for one. C-368. What do you think, quick? Hey, I've got it right here. Let me get out this one. clear. I just sat and put my finger on the shutter, pointed the camera at the Earth. This astonishing picture of the Earth was simply not planned at all. This is something that happens while they are totally alone. They're more alone than any human beings in history. There's three of them on the wrong side of the moon and no communication at all. The photograph was a reality of, of this blue dot out in the vastness of space uh, that did not have any backup support. It, it was all we had. As I viewed uh, the Earth, I thought, you know, here we were fighting each other, you know, shooting weapons and bombs and uh, testing nukes. And I thought, you know, we humans need to handle our beautiful planet with more care. <laughs>